this is Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. We're back and I started the work on this 67 Roadster Racer that we've got to repair. Um, if you haven't seen it, go back and look at part one. I talk all about it. Anyway, what I started yesterday to think about, I'm going to go ahead and put the jigs in, but I decided I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is dissect this thing first down to as far as I need to go. Then I'm going to go ahead and mount it in the jigs and kind of boss it into the jigs, do any little pulling that I need to do, and then build it back up. So step one is to get these wings off and we are, I've already done a test yesterday. We're using a heat gun and a putty knife to kind of slide up through here and take that panel bonding off. And I'll show you that. And then underneath it here, it's not just a hole this big. There's actually just kind of a cutout for the wheel. And then there's like an insulation in there. And so I may change that around a little bit and cut some more of that away. We'll have to see how that goes. If you look down here, I didn't show this in part one, but we've got some issues. And actually, I guess I'll just show you the door. The door does not fit anymore on this side. And Brian said it was not like that. So this side has kind of crunched up and maybe bounced back a little bit. You can see there's some damage here and the, you can see that right there, there's kind of a kink and then the door is kind of out of whack. And then down here, I don't know if you can get this on film. Actually, from where I'm standing, you can. There's a, do you see that? Okay, come over here this way, um, trade spots. How about now? Okay, well anyway, there's a bulge here where this has bulged out and down here, things aren't quite, quite right. It's kind of bulged out down here too. So we're gonna be taking this whole sill off and I think there might be some wrinkles in the inner sill as well. So we'll get that sill off. We'll kind of straighten things out on the inner sill, pull it back at once we get those towers in the front and situate it that way. But the first thing I gotta do is get these off. So like I said, I've got some time with the heat gun and the putty knife. So let's get going. Well, it's getting there. As you can see, I am using a heat gun to get the uh, panel bonding melted and pull this off. It would probably go faster with a torch, but I don't want to get that all involved here, especially since this is aluminum and it's very thin. I got a lot of paint and body work here. I'm just going to use the heat gun, take it a little slower and a little safer. Um, I just bought a new heat gun. You can see it's a real cheap heat gun. I bought an expensive one once, had all these digital controls, and it didn't last as long as the cheap ones do. So with heat guns, they're kind of a disposable item. Um, but anyway, that's what we're doing. So I've probably got a couple hours of that ahead of me, but we'll get these off without any damage, and that'll pay us back later with hours we don't have to do on repair. All right, as you can see, I bit the bullet and got the propane torch out. I'm being very gentle. It's working much faster, and this side seemed to have a lot more glue on it. So I am just being very gentle to put some heat in there. The aluminum dissipates the heat pretty good, but I was going to be here all afternoon getting this one off. So, I guess the moral to the story is the propane torch is the way to go, but you better be gentle. And you can see there's the, there's the other one, it's off. So stay tuned. All right, at the moment, I'm just making it worse, but it's going to get better. We've got the wing off. A gentle use of the propane torch is definitely the way to go there. It worked a lot faster. Um, and as you can see, it's not real fancy underneath. This has just been kind of hogged out for the wheel clearance. 
and that we don't tire clearance. And then the, the flared wing has been put on top. Now, the wing obviously comes out and you've got this difference. So come over here and kind of look down and you can see here where this sticks out more than the original. And so, you know, we've got to go across here. So you end up with this big gap, but that's not the way that I'm going to do it when I put the car back together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this original metal out and I'm going to leave a one inch overlap here. I am going to use panel bonding to put this back on to get the smooth look like they had it. That car in the poster actually has big rivets along here, but this one was smoother. So we're still going to use the panel bonding. I'm going to leave a one inch section here for that and everything else is going to go. See this big gap here? What that's going to do is it's going to mean that the inner structure is not going to be wide enough. And actually walk around here. Sorry, I know it's tough when the videos are moving around. But see, look up in here. These are all the original panels and they only come out to here, but we need to come out to here. And there's kind of a flared piece in there and all that. What I will do is after I get the aluminum wing on, I will, and we're going to cut that all out too, because it's obviously it's all mashed up and we make all of that here new and it'll be perfect. I'll put the new aluminum wing on. I'll put the original steel pieces in and then they won't be big enough. And then I'll make patterns of what the difference is. And then I'll remake the inside pieces, but wider for this car. So that's what we're going to do. Back here, I've, I've got to, now I'm going to cut this all out. Also, by cutting all this out, it's going to give me a lot less remaining here because I want to try to leave this. The deck lid opening was kind of okay, and I'm just going to try to hammer out and straighten these inner boot walls using the frame table as a guide for straightness and levelness and all that. Believe it or not, and this is going to sound crazy, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to attempt to save this panel. We have made this in the past. It's very difficult to make, and um, there is another reproduction available from another company. It's horrible. The, the curvature is wrong this way. The curvature is wrong this way. A lot of times, if you can get this off of there and hammer and dolly it, you're gonna end up with a perfect fitting piece, but then everything else will be replaced. So what I've gotta do now is a lot of dissection and then a lot of spot well drilling and that. So let me go ahead and get to work on that and then I'll give you another update once there's a lot less of this car here. Okay, I've got the initial big cut. And if you look down there on the floor, there's what's left of the boot floor. Um, and I've just rough cut it out. That took over an hour. Now it's gonna take a lot more time to do the finer dissection, drilling out all these spot welds. I gotta still get this piece out of there without screwing it up too much. And I haven't started cutting into the rear wings yet, but I'm going to. Um, but as you can see, it's not always all nice and pretty. It can be a big mess. And sometimes you just got to get in there and go to town. I got blood on my arm and I've sprayed my arm. I always say I'm going to put long sleeves on when I do this and then I can get involved and I don't. So, but anyway, uh, we're getting there.